Creative Commons wants to help define the spectrum of possibilities between full copyright, all rights reserved, and the public domain, no rights reserved. Our licenses help you retain your copyright while allowing certain uses of your work. They help you offer your creative work with some rights reserved. When you create a work, it's automatically protected by full copyright, whether you file your protection or not, whether you display the copyright symbol or not. This is fine for people who want control over every last use of their work. But what about those people who want to share their work on certain terms? Our licenses are designed for those folks, those who understand that innovation and new ideas come from building off existing ones. Every Creative Commons license allows the world to distribute, display, copy, and webcast your work, provided they abide by certain conditions of your choice. There are four conditions you can apply with a Creative Commons license. The first is an attribution requirement. Let's say that I'm a budding photographer and want to get my name and work out on the web. The attribution option lets people freely redistribute my photos, as long as they give me credit. So when Ignacio comes across my site, he knows he can use my photo, provided that he gives me credit. There's no need for him to contact me before republishing it, so long as he clearly lists my name and links to my attribution license. Another option is to specify no commercial use. This lets me share my photograph with the world, but prohibits others from making money off it. If someone wants to use my photo for commercial purposes, they have to get my permission first. That's when I might ask them for some money. So if Ezra, a school teacher, wants to put my photo on his class's website, he can do so without asking. But he still has to link to my license so that other people know how they can and can't reuse it. On the other hand, let's say Miranda wants to include my photo in a coffee table book she's producing. Since she's planning to sell the book for profit, she must get my permission before including my photo. The third option is to declare no derivative works. This lets others copy and redistribute my photo, but only if they do so without altering or transforming it. I might choose this option if I want my photos distributed only in their whole original state. Imagine that Maya wants to crop my photo and include it in a collage she's working on. Since my work is offered with the no derivative works condition, Maya has to ask my permission before doing so. She could, however, copy and distribute the photo in its original form. The last option is something we call Share Alike. Share Alike requires people who transform or build on my original photograph to make the resulting work available on the same terms I gave them. Let's say I pick a license that includes the Share Alike option, as well as the attribution and non-commercial conditions. Under this combination of conditions, Maya can modify and use my photo in her collage as long as she releases the whole collage on the same terms I offer her – attribution, non-commercial, and share alike. She also has to comply with the original license by giving me credit and asking my permission before making money from her collage. So, that is how each of the four options work and you can combine them to reflect your preferences. There are 11 combinations in all. Now, if you'd rather release all control of your work to the public, with no conditions whatsoever, you can use the Creative Commons website to dedicate your work to the public domain. The public domain dedication is different from a license. It's a way of declaring, simply, no rights reserved. We hope that all of these Creative Commons tools will help you and others share a wide range of creative works in a variety of media on your own terms. For more information, check out the Licenses Explained page or Create a License Now.